Um, a random experiment involves drawing a sample of 12 data values from a normally distributed population. <clears throat> they say the random variable is the z-score of the minimum of the data set. <clears throat> so we have to remember um, the equation to find a z-score. And that is you take the data value of interest that the one that you're trying to find a z-score for. That's what we're going to plug it for x. And you subtract the mean of the set. And this is, we're talking about sample data here. So sample mean, if there's a sample of 12. And then we, we divide by the standard deviation. So this is the mean. This is a standard deviation. And that's what the equation says. It says, take whatever they're trying to say, hey, find the z-score of this number. You plug it in for the x here. You subtract the mean of this of the, from the, the, the average number from the whole set of data, right? And then you divide by the standard deviation from the whole set of data. If you don't really remember what that number is, don't stress so much. You know, it's just like the um, typical di distance that the, the these um, data values are from each other. So and it's just a value, and we're just going to plug it into the formula, so it's not that bad. But well, the first step here is that we need to get our calculator. And we want to enter in all of these numbers into our L1. So we go to stats, edit, and then I'm going to clear out all my other data that I have in here. I have to delete. Yeah, okay. I have to press delete on this calculator. So then this is a little bit different than a regular calculator, but okay. I deleted all my data. Now I just input all of this data all in the first column here. So 31, 34, 34, 35. And you could just um, um, fast forward through this. And there we go. So it looks like we have, it, this, this space is for the 13th value. So it looks like we have 12, which we have four by three. So we do have 12. So just look up here that I, probably, I put, at least put all the correct number, or I put all the, the correct number of numbers in. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake typing them in. Okay. So that is all um, the data I put in there. Okay, then I go to stats, I go to calculate, and I do chart, pick one bar stats. Oh, actually, it's probably a good idea if I just get out of this menu first. So let me go second mode, and that quits me out. Um, that still thinks I want to be in the graph, so I don't want to be in the graph. I just want to have a clear blank slate. I mean, so far, I mean, as um, uh, um, <clears throat> and I mean by that is I want to clear a clear whiteboard for the uh, for the calculator to to, to be calculating things on because then when I have a clear whiteboard, it tends to like to present the data a little better with the way he did. Or thought, okay. It seems to want the, the, the X list and frequency list. So it's an L1. Ah. Just press enter. Okay. Now I can scroll up and see. My mean is 
And that's what the value I need to plug in for into this formula. And the and we want sample standard deviation. This is a sample, so it's 9.0298. Usually I'm gonna keep um quite a few decimal places, um, probably twice as much as they are asking you to be accurate to in your final answer. But ideally, almost all of these value, these um decimal places you would keep if whenever possible. But um, so our data value that they want us to find the z-score of, the z-score of the minimum. So yours might say different. Maybe it says maximum, then you would be looking at you know, the biggest number. Mine says find the z-score of the minimum. So that means I have to take the 31 and I'm plugging it in for the x here in this equation. So there's two x's, but the first x is now far above it. Right? minus the mean, which the mean is what we calculated, um, the x, x mean 42.9166, I'll put four decimal places. Then the standard deviation in the, in the geometer, the sx there, 9.0298, 9.0298. Now we have to make sure to do order of operations here. And there's always invisible parentheses in the numerator of a fraction telling us to subtract those numbers first. If you don't, you could probably get this wrong because if you just try to put this in as is into your calculator, it might think you wanna do 30, or it might think you want to do, I like, I don't know, it may not do this right. So let's do the subtraction first. Thirty-one minus forty-two point nine one six six. Okay, that's what I get. So that's the numerator, the number I get from the numerator there. 11.9166, negative 11, negative 11.9166 in the numerator. Then I still have the 9.0298 in the denominator. And um, now I just divide that back to my calculator. So <clears throat> you can do, usually you could do a second answer. So it'll it re-input this answer for us. Or it might be, I feel it'll just to say divide. Ah, well, I don't think that, that I like that. Okay, let's just say enter. I don't think I actually pressed enter. Now, what we can do is we can say second, and where this negative sign is, I could put that, that, that's gonna, this answer means that it's gonna take the last answer that you displayed on your calculator. So I'm gonna take that answer, the 11.9166, and divide by the nine, my standard, sample standard deviation. 9.0298. And then now I press enter, and then here's my z score negative 1.3. Um, negative 1.31. And there we go. I hope you found this um, valuable. Bye.